So <laughs> there we have it. We've gone through the 10 cards. They are, um, this was awesome. It was long, but it was awesome. So if you stuck with it, if you've gone and come back, I appreciate you for doing that. Um, but we are going to, that's not it. Like we said, we had these other decks that we could, um, that we're going to, uh, clarify and qualify um, with these, with this first, with this first layer here, with this foundational layer, now that we've gone through with the tree of life, like, and the, and the hermetic tarot actual, um, um, uh, interpretations or whatever for the, for these, um, I, I, I asked if we should go back and do these top ones. And I was told, no, whatever came out for that is fine is what we wanted to come out. Um, so we're just going to go through here. Um, I'm going to go really quick with this and then we're going to go back. So we have eight of cups for the emperor, 10 of swords for the four of swords. Um, Five of Swords for the Two of Swords. Uh, the Hanged Man with the uh, Knight of Swords. Five of Wands with the King of Swords. Death with the Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles with Seven of Swords. Uh, six of wands with 10 of wands and two of wands with eight of cups. And I'm hearing we're not going in reverse for these. Not even if they're coming out reverse, we're not going reverse. Um, nine of swords with the blasted tower. Okay. We're going to go one more layer and see these as each of them as a set I'm hearing. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And we're going to get through like the whole thing um, instead of going this layer and then the next layer because we'll be here until the end of time. Um, so just told to get these cards another layer with the unknown with the wild unknown tarot. So we have the two of swords over the emperor and the knight of cups over the four of swords and the ten of swords. We have father of pentacles over the two of swords and the five of swords. We have the hermit. Again, came out in reverse, but we're going right side up, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Just checking in there. Okay, over the Knight of Swords and the Hanged Man, we have the world. Nice. Over the King of Swords and the Five of Wands, we have the Death card. And then over the Five of Cups and the Death card, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Over the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords. Over the Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands, we have the Star. Over the Eight of Cups and the Two of Wands, we have the Emperor again. I had a feeling he'd show up twice. Told ya. <laughs> Told ya. Hate to be a know-it-all but I have some prophetic powers. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that was funny. I crack myself up. Over the blasted tower and the nine of swords, we have the five of swords. Okay. Very cool. I dig it. <laughs> I dig it. So two of swords and the knight of cups with the emperor. Okay, real simple here. Energies with that with that Michael and that um, there's our knight of swords and the shadows. Um, sorry, knight of knight of cups 
in our shadowscapes or uh, tarot. Sheesh, I can talk. <laughs> uh, Knight of Cups, so very, um, very healing energy, very, uh, 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 vigorous energy here with that. Um, using water, I'm hearing. This two of swords is in reverse. So that is instead of the con instead of like looking at outside conflict and being distracted with the outside, this is coming in and inwards. This is going in and inwards versus versus being paying attention to that like out and like seeing this is in. So like that Archangel Michael and his energy coming in with that emperor to tell us we've got like this really, um, this force, this is like literally a unicorn riding the water and seeing that cup and just going towards, towards that. Like it, it just, it looks very refreshing for a lack of a better word. Um, and that was again, that position is our spirit position. That's our mind. That's what our soul wants us to know. Energies to help us with our mind, with our with the. And then next is body. So this was body, four of swords, uh, Lord of rest from strife, and that also remember that connected a lot with the um, Queen of the Owls or Queen of Owls. And then we have ten of swords here. So 10 of sorts. So that is just a lot of um, like conflict of like, and, and, and just feeling like this definitive feelings about our body that needs to be changed. The father of pentacles coming out here and this um, it's interesting. This is, I mean, this is the divine masculine, right? So, so here we are ending with this, like going inwards, um, with, with mind, with body, um, just a lot of that, like what we feel about our bodies and how that works and father of pentacles kind of like the holistic doctor coming in and being like, we're going to take care of your body in a really like, <laughs> Um, like for lack of a better word, like hippie kind of way with these, <laughs> with these antlers that are all rainbow and the pentacle. And he's just like, I know it's, uh, you know, like drink this, <laughs> um, kind of energy, um, for our body. And then two of swords for, remember for our energy, Lord of peace restored. We have five of swords that comes in after that. And funny enough, remember how I said, most likely we're going to see a five of swords and that's why I read about it. Well, there we go. There's our five of swords that we got that I already read about from the book. And then coming in on top of it is the hermit. Um, and this is energy. So this is talking about um, trying and working on stabilizing the, look at this card, stabilizing energy. Look at, he's trying to like deal with these, with these two big, um, and, and, and fly and, and, and be in, in a space here, but it's just kind of all over the place. It feels like there's just like a lot of, a lot happening, a lot of wind. This is five of swords, right? And then that's over the two of swords and the hermit. So it's like with this energy thing, um, like to seek peace from this energy, we need to go within and do that hermit thing, divine masculine. Um, really being called to, you know, step away from distraction and get into more of, you know, again, that spirit, that mind, body, energy um, under spirit. Okay, next we have our, what we're dealing with and need focus with the four position, with the four position that is air, um, is remember our knight of swords, Knight of Swords coming in, a lot of energy there. Then we have the Hanged Man. And then we have the World. So 
it's interesting. We have hermit hangman world, hippie dad going within and then and world. So air, um, I'm just like ground, I'm hearing grounding with Gaia, grounding with Gaia, the world coming in as um, I'm just feeling very, very intense Gaia energies here. So, so for especially for our air signs, or if you picked air or four, we want to be working on grounding and sticking with, with Gaia here and going with Gaia. Conversely, with these other numbers, one um, would be uh, Archangel Michael, Archangels in general, um, really wanting to break away from some inner struggle using this energy with archangels and especially archangel michael with those two swords the two people you and him the two energies entities coming together to overcome this energy about healing uh so you're, if you're two that's two body that's healing so so really pay attention to that and then with number three energy um, really needing to go within kind of like even dark night of the soul a little bit, but maybe not, maybe it doesn't mean it to need it to be that extreme just to be like, you know what, spending more time by myself. Cause maybe even the pandemic, it was, you know, you found a way to be social or you so, you know, and so whatever, whatever that is, it's like, because of the pandemic and because in many places there's still lockdowns in different ways, it is easier to have that. But I think that for the most part, it's just, it's even like if you're in isolation or in quarantine or lockdown, whatever it is, and, but you can still distract yourself all day long and not use that time to go within and get, and get with the soul. So this is saying whatever came before now, you're ready for this for energy, to, to conserve energy, to think about your life force energy, to not let like narcissists and other people come in and take your energy and be energy vampires and, and, you know, kind of muck and fuck with your energy. Time to go within, time to see, time to work on your life force energy. You know, that hermit energy is, is very self loving because that's what you need. And, and so, okay, so coming back here, connecting with mother, with uh, mother Gaia, with this energy, um, with the hangman and this uh, knight of swords. So this could even be like, it could be, uh, it's interesting because I'm getting two things with connecting with Gaia. One is a lot of movement with that knight of air. And then the hangman is very stuck right and then there's Gaia and here's the thing I'm thinking you can get in with and connect to Gaia um on that level of like nature and stuff whether you go on the road and travel the world like with that air energy or with a hanged man you stay home you garden you you root, you ground you start really nesting in your environment bringing nature in and, and so either way feels good to you that you're guided to do or both both um that's the direction that we're going in with air so if you're an air sign or if you pick the number four there you go or you picked air um for your element okay next with water water was king of swords um the chariots of the winds with the five of wands and the death card and that was with water so we have with the shadowscapes, tarot, a lot going on here with all of these foxes. And fox energy is very like cunning and paying attention and, and like seeing, but maybe not being seen. And even though in this, <laughs> there's, you know, like who wouldn't see this happening? But um, the foxes here, they're, they're not like, 
even though they're all over the place, they're not distracting this dude. Like he's just like, yeah, going forward, whatever. Or they're, you know, or I could see this as they are helping to distract others so he can go forward that as well. Because either way, this new, this new um a death and rebirth thing with the with the the death card with the five position of water even though we even though in this five position with water we don't have water we have air and we have fire so um and then we have the death card um so what i'm seeing here is like the need for water. So water needs water or else if it's too much air and too much fire, it's no more water. So um, we really need to, for those of you who picked five and are five or water signs, really think about taking in more water, drinking more water, being around water. I myself, I'm going to go to the lake tomorrow and see what, and just soak in that energy. It's supposed to be warmer, yay, tomorrow than it has been. So I'm super excited about that. Like I was in there. Um. <clears throat> and then I'm going to choke on it. Awesome. I know how to drink. Because <laughs> don't you see that here? It's like, okay, dried out. <coughs> That's funny. It's like, I just heard that. It's like dried out. And I almost was like gulping that water, that that dry parched feeling hit me, <coughs> and I drank too fast. It was like I was trying to drop it into my system faster than my throat could open up. So it said, uh-uh. Uh, so that tells you right there the need for the water, the need for the uh, that energy, that cleansing energy, that hydrating energy, this time in Pisces, we really have to be tapping into that. Besides, look at, um, I'm being told here again with uh, Michael and the, what was this? The Knight of Cups, a lot of water energy. And so definitely water needs water. So paying attention to water here, knowing about, really thinking about new beginnings. Um, meditating in water, uh, that sort of thing. Okay, moving on to tech, which was five of cups. And we have the death card over here as well. So death right next to death. Um, here is the death card in the shadow scapes tarot. And oopsie. I love it because, you know, it's that Phoenix rising. So it's like, there's no real such thing as death, um, which is, which is really cool. And, and so this is really about, and, and then the seven of pentacles over that death card, over that five of cups, oh, for tech, number six, that was talking about the death of the need to go within to ascend to get spiritual and how how technology can really distract from that and so basically what this is saying is that there even for people who are addicted to tech who who um, are deep into social or news or video games or movies and television and stuff that is you know outside even books even podcasts anything that's like too much outside too much outside without that inside um is a problem but we have the death card which is new beginnings it's like the more people are understanding this as like as as tech is an element tech is something to really nurture or or destroy us and um so then we have so we have that death card and we have the seven of pentacles from the wild unknown and really that's a very um abundant robust energy it's just growing and so i feel that um people are really going to start to disconnect from what is more destructive and negative in energy that takes from their energy that is is connected to tech like a lot of people talk about Twitter. I, I left, I was in, into, I was, yeah, I, 
not for very long, but I was gone. I'm not on Twitter anymore. I just could not. Um, so, okay. So anyway, so next we have seven, which is earth, seven of swords, seven sevens. We got our seven sevens there, knight of pentacles and six of swords here. So here's our knight of pentacles. and our uh six of swords so <laughs> like it's almost like 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 this card, this um, this seven of swords was again unstable effort. What is unstable in in our lives? What are we like holding on to? That like earth, like being unstable. Remember that. So here with um with the knight of pentacles, it's almost like we can roll right past that, actually with pretty abundant energy. And here is the that um that rainbow, like rainbow light energy. So it's like we can just like go over this instability we just have to see it it's like oh boy yeah it's like we just have to see um we have to be able to see what that is like what what have we seen as in the illusion that seemed stable that isn't actually stable and then what do we even know most specifically that isn't stable we already know this isn't stable and why or what is about it that is a part of our of our world uh, and, and that once it's identified with our, like, especially with the divine masculine side to be able to like, kind of, you know, use that energy to see things truly for what they are, not, not what we hope or want them to be or what we've made into what it is or turned it into something, um, put energy into the illusion for ourselves kind of built the sand castle and been like there you go that's stable <laughs> and that, that, that's not going anywhere and like the tides coming in and you're still like fixing all the details being like doo, 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 and it's like uh, uh like that sort of thing is kind of what i'm seeing okay so then we have our our eight position our fire position and with that we had ten of wands remember that all that fire that um that lord of oppression and then after that we have six of wands so we have more fire coming in after that and then on top of that we have the, the star so more electricity more energy with the star um let me see here what are we Yeah, it's kind of like what I'm seeing here is like like stabilizing energy going from that super hot 10, that super hot 10. And again, I'm feeling uh, almost like oh, it is. Oh, it's the 17. It's the 17 card with the six and the 10. And there's that star. Um, I don't know. This is interesting what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling here like two stars almost. It's interesting. I'm feeling like almost two stars here with that fire energy. Oh, we have 10 of wands. So two tens is two fives so if we split if we split two if we split the tens they're two fives right because here's another five um i like i just said i feel like there's two stars two tens two fives two stars and then the star shining on the star stars it's just a lot of star energy. It's like star, star, star. It's like multiplying, multiplying. That's how I'm seeing it. Um, I didn't see the ten, the five of wands, or the ten of wands that way until I'm seeing this, this ten. And this, for some reason, this is kind of like feels mirrored. Like, like this is my side. Show me your side. We're gonna come together almost here with that, with that eight fire position that that eight position with our with our 
with our star. Okay, and then we have with our animal instincts, eight of cups with abandoned success, two of wands, two of wands. And the emperor. So our animal instincts, we have the emperor coming in. This was again, this we had kind of two things back to back the nine and the 10 position cards are talking about abandonment. Remember with the blasted tower, that's like big time, like what, what kept getting destructed because of that. And here with the eight of, with the eight of cups is kind of more like, what did we, what are we abandoning kind of thing? And so the two of wands is saying like, what are we starting to put together? What are we starting to unite instead of instead of separate? And what's Anna being shown here? This is really interesting because we have the emperor here with the two of wands. We have the emperor up here with the two of swords. So again, two. Uh, remember, two of swords here with the emperor, and um, here we have the eight of cups the two of wands and the emperor, the emperor in the, uh, uh, with the wild unknown tarot. So I'm hearing you see what you want to see you, even though it's animal instincts with this thing with like abandonment and like it's, it's some it's like getting into situation seeing what you want to see at first because it just fits what you need at the time but then like at some point it's either it's like oh it's not what i wanted or not what i thought or not what i want to connect myself to and then you know like and then you and then it's almost like how do you put it um uh like regret and then like feeling like failure or like now I'm going to doubt myself. And so it's just like, so when the next situation, next person, the next whatever that you're like, yeah, oh, maybe yes. And then you're like in that whole thing again and then abandon it comes from some angle. And so Michael, the emperor is saying, this is just because it's like you're seeing what you want to see you're you want you want a certain thing so you're ignoring other things it's like seen very compartmentally um to have this this situation go on you know continue continue okay and then we have the blasted tower the nine of swords that's our nine of swords with the uh shadow scapes or uh, I always want to say Oracle, <laughs> Shadowscapes Tarot, and the Five of Swords with, here's another five of, five of Swords. So we have, um, yeah, oh, those are ones. Oh, we had Five Swords. Maybe not, no, we didn't. Okay, now I'm confused, but whatever, moving on. Um, five of Swords, Final, whether we did before or not, maybe I was confused with the with the five of wands. Sometimes I get things confused. I'm not perfect. Okay, so we had the blasted tower here for a program issue, trigger to overcome, heal. Um, I mean, all of this kind of is, but these, I mean, you know, this is a very specific, and again, this was the tower. Um, deconstructing what we know to be true because it's not deconstructing the false coming into the true so here we have and i love this card for this i forget what let's forget what we know about or or really employ what we know about the five of, of swords at this point and but see how it's cutting that that cord that 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 uh, that worm, that connection, that rope to what we what we thought or what we knew to be true kind of situation. It's cutting it's cutting that um, and the and really coming through with this nine of swords, five of swords, the tower with this trigger of abandonment because I feel like this thing with abandonment, this thing with um, with uh, what we 
what we need to to see to be true within uh within how we're construct how our inner our inner tower is constructed because that's why it's always so i pointed out at the top you see how it's always the top of the tower that's busted not the bottom the top representing the head the thoughts the mind the understanding the ego all that stuff that needs to be shattered 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 over and over and over again and so we can really help this process out by going deep and really and instead of just like going through the motions of life and maybe figuring shit out just really deciding to figure shit out you know where are the patterns what are we connected to what still drives us what do we avoid what do we procrastinate about that's another big one that we're going to be getting into procrastination i think is probably part of this too because what we're procrastinating on is also what we're abandoning in a sense right if we're not doing it we're abandoning it so we're pro procrastinating so we can say you know oh i'm going to get to the dishes i'm going to get to the dishes procrastinate 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 we're abandoning taking care of that energy and cleaning out that energy right so they're very similar abandonment and procrastination two meditations i'm going to be putting out soon i'm just kind of getting those together so program issue trigger um to overcome i would say overall here when it comes to you know this uh kind of kind of all of this with the divine masculine is about abandonment is about um illusion destroying illusion bringing in the divine um because let's not forget here we have spiritual understanding so getting information um clearing space career transition passion but you are safe as well we started with way back when the tree of illumination so getting that spiritual um and deep feels from mother gaia and then you remember we're to go home go into the tower to help us you know like really like like get get back to what is the truth and home is the truth our soul is the truth all that good stuff oh my goodness this has been really long really intense a lot of information but it's all made sense um to me and i excuse me hope it has to you too uh <clears throat> uh i guess my let's go back to the moonology too just as a refresher here surrender to the divine so we definitely got those messages here um to back up what we got here with the um uh with the moonology surrender to the divine uh it had time to give rather than take so give to yourself and rather taking away from yourself and your energy and also other people think about me maybe where you're taking energy where um you can just be being neutral or take, giving to yourself giving to something else by not being involved in it um believe in the impossible that's definitely part of this and part of this like tower thing this tower um uh, theme that we have here we have to deconstruct to deconstruct we have to believe that that there's things that that would seem miraculous and magic and impossible because the truth is nothing is impossible it's just our limited perspective is impossible <laughs> and don't let pride get in your way so again this is about um kind of the, the crutches that we lean on when it comes to three full moons by the way and a new moon when it comes to um the crutches that we lean on when it comes to what we allow ourselves to get into so if there's if we put blocks and we go we can't cross these blocks then we're free from exploring because these things are already put into place conveniently why are they there is it you know whether it's pride or conditioning or programming that says i'm closed off here 
that's that's pride that's ego that's fear that's control getting in the way then exploring as soon as you go ah bullshit it's like okay well let's discern what that is you know what do you what are what what about this is triggering you that's like because usually when we call bullshit on stuff we don't see stuff it's like we're sometimes we're not usually but sometimes it could be like maybe we're ignorant we're, we're just ignorant about it we don't understand it or how can that be or whatever that's bullshit but you know sometimes it's not it's not bullshit it's actually real it's just your perspective on things like if you ask somebody that is like indigenous and isn't involved in technology and doesn't understand stuff and sees life very simplistically and you tell them you can take your heart and put it into that person and that person's going to live with your heart they would be like you're insane how would you even begin to do that crazy magic you're crazy and you know the most intelligent of people in different points in in in, in history would say the same thing but the fact of the matter is that that's a very real thing that people do all the time, get heart transplants or lung transplants or, you know, hand transplants. I saw the other day, face transplants. So it's like this stuff could be considered, this is tech, medical tech, med medical technology. So, you, so it's like, what's your perspective? Your, your, your own walls are are keep or your own beliefs are is your reality basically and so as limited as your beliefs may be and a lot of people who claim to be open are not because it triggers a fear in them because it it, it would be like tumbling down the rabbit hole with with for alice like once you once you open a door and you tumble inside and you're like believe this and understand this it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes trust me so for a lot of people they're like i can't i can't i just can't and they'll start and they'll go back even or you know completely denounce stuff because it's just too much for them to take um so it is it is uh advantageous to, to, to do layers to, to heal on an energetic level so you're on a quantum biological physical level like what we talked about up here mind body energy spirit healing was at the very center of that and holistic healing energy healing body healing in a really natural way um and there's many different ways but the core of it any kind of true healing comes in the form of how to fix your energy um with your physical body mental body emotional body um energetic body spiritual body etheric etheric body and all of them working together and all of it is just a different type and form of energy that needs to coincide and work and flow along with your chakras and everything that being in alignment you being connected and grounded to gaia so you can and your guides and guardians your soul and that da, 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 the divine masculine the divine feminine sides working in harmony working together swirling together always not not in a in a um in a riptide of currents that aren't going anywhere and and to see it fluid 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 um with our divine masculine or divine feminine so anyway i hope that this entire goliath of a reading has been helpful for you remember this is really important spiritual physical energetic information um that you know is meant to help you kind of slice and dice through through the stuff that we that come to us in a really specific way um so again you guys that was our our uh spread and i hope that for our, you know each of those each of those are elemental connections um hopefully this has been helpful for you it's been pretty cool for me it's been long i'm kind of tired i do have to do to the divine feminine but i may just um <laughs> i may just wait until tomorrow and start that one 
Um, not quite sure, but we'll have this divine masculine up ASAP. Um, a lot to get over through here. So thank you for coming again. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Support it in any way that you can. Share um, and comments are great. I love to hear from you. It also helps other, you know, the more engagement, the better the algorithm and more suggested um, it'll come into people's feeds. I appreciate you for being here with me, soul family, beautiful soul. I hope to see you again for the divine feminine let's wrap this up um, we may not have to go as long or as big or as thick and as deep with that one because we did so much here i'm kind of hearing it might be a little a little on the lighter side which is good to hear because we did get through so much here with the divine masculine read so um so just so you know that that just came through to me so anyway i'm gonna get going thank you so much for being here wah, wah, wah. infinite love and blessings don't forget the key is to create i love you already and always love and love bye for now